I would obviously have to enter the odds and the stake at which um, I want that order filled at. And if I just for demonstration purposes say lower than 1.6, you can see here that um, when that criteria is met, cell F8 is lower than 1.6, it suddenly displays that order in the market. Back offset 1, fill kill, true, stop 5. Um, but because I haven't put any odds in, any stake, it's obviously not going to place a bet for me. Now you can mix and match all of this functionality however you wish. Um, it's entirely up to you how you wish to um, script this instruction. But you can see up here, these are the rules and options that you have available to you. Back offset, force offset, fill or kill, kill delay, stop, stop place, trailing stop. Um, all of those functions are available for you to use. My recommendation to you, as always, whenever you're using a new tool like this, is to um, just start at the um, basics and start with small amounts just while you get used to it. Um, but it's actually very, very easy to create very, very complex um, betting instructions within any particular market using the Excel integration. Um, it's possible to do virtually anything that you wish. You could create a rule in a horse race saying, OK, um, is the horse race in play? Because you'll see the in play and suspended um, data coming up on the uh, top of the Excel interface here. Is the race in play? If it is in play, then place an order for this amount. Um, are the front two horses in the field leading? Um, or sorry, are the front two horses in the field who are leading below this price? If so, lay one of them or lay it at this price or try and lay it at this price and if it doesn't fill then lay a different one. You can do all these weird and wonderful things but to do that um, you need to be able to come to terms with Excel. You need to understand things like if statements within Excel. And if you understand Excel quite well um, the amount of things that you can do is virtually unlimited. It's, it's a very very powerful feature that we've integrated here within BetAngel. And the concept really is just to increase the amount of flexibility that you have to operate in these markets. Um, I think that uh, with this tool you'll be able to do um, 10 times as much as the conventional BetAngel could do and BetAngel was you know very far ahead of the field in terms of its functionality already but with this um, you'll increase your ability to trade these markets effectively exponentially. That's a quick overview of um, how to use the Excel interface. Um, what I will do over time is produce a couple of different templates um, just to show you basically how you can expand and use this um, in much more depth. And uh, I'll create some standard templates that um, people can have so that if you want to simplify uh, an instruction that's going into the market, you can do it via Excel, but you can just use a template to administer and manage your bet position. Um, but that hopefully that's given you an overview of the capability of what you can do and um, I recommend that you uh, get involved with it and try it at um, some small stakes, get used to it and um, then you can move on to some more complicated strategies. When you've started using Excel for some time you begin to realize there's an awful lot of power sat behind this tool. It's quite possible to create any number of uh, scenarios that you could possibly think of. What we've actually done with um, BetAngel, as well as uh, giving you a template to work with, we've also given you this charting spreadsheet. And this is designed for you to uh, mess around with as to your heart's content. You could do whatever you like with this, and it will basically allow you to create your own custom view of the market. Um, you can see here um, that we're just playing with this chart inside Excel. So, you know, if we wanted to put multiple charts on, we could do, or if we wanted to expand one chart up significantly you can. This allows you to switch dynamically between different runners in the race and allows you to see what's going on there and if you wanted to change the look and feel of the chart then you could just go up to the charting options in Excel and pick and choose sort of what you wanted to do from there. Um, all of the data is held uh, on this spreadsheet so it allows you to perform other mathematical functions to it and uh, allows you to look at a whole range of different um, statistical variations to try and help you in your trading. And this spreadsheet is bundled automatically with BetAngel and it allows you to um, mess around with it as well so that you can actually have a look at some of the data and see if you can come up with um, some, some new views on the market. But it's uh, all designed there to help you. 
over time, uh, what people have done with Excel is uh, quite a, a, a number of clever things. You can see here, uh, this is a binary ladder that's been designed by somebody um, who is a bit angel user. And basically this binary ladder um, it tells us lots of information here. You can see the prices represented in binary, how much is available um, in the market. All sorts of information about where the money's moving in the market or where it isn't moving. Your, your potential P&L, a little sort of trade calculator here that allows you to work out a number of different things. Um, you can have static or dynamic controls, you can back or lay at any of these prices, apply the global settings, um, switch between runners. There's actually an awful lot that you can do. So you can use Excel um, to create either your view on the market to aid you with your conventional trading, or you can actually design your own tools within Excel. Um, whichever way you look at it, Excel uh, or the Excel integration within BetAngel um, is a significantly powerful tool.